everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy and in this quick one I will show you how you can get more native-like transitions for your Ionic app if you're not completely happy with the current animations of Ionic. So I've started a blank new Ionic app and we go ahead and add the Cordova plugin for native page transitions. So this plugin will allow us to uh, use more native-like transitions uh, when we push or uh, set different pages inside our Ionic app. Um, there are a few different options and we will just go through um, the basic four options and of course also make sure to add the Ionic native package so we can use it. Um, also I will generate or regenerate more or less the home page as you can see Currently, the home page has no module file. If you go ahead and just generate it again, um, you will see that, um, yes, Ionic CLI, come on. Okay, yes, that we now got a module file and now it works a bit better with lazy loading. Also, I will create a second page so we can navigate to that second page from our first page. So uh, let's remove the, oh, not everything, the home page and also import the native page transitions from add ionic native native page transitions and add it to your array of providers. And then we're good here to get started with our app. So for the home screen, um, there's actually not much we have to do so let's call this transitions and we just need a bunch of buttons here so ion button perhaps full and now we will open the different or use the different animations so we will have a slight animation and we got three more so uh, the second one perhaps is flip page lip uh, then we got fade page which is kind of cool fade page fade yeah <laughs> uh, and then we got curl page a nice curl animation all right so uh, not really that hard until here so let's import our native page transitions inside our home TS as well and also, of course, make sure to add it to your constructor. Native page transitions of the type native page transitions. Okay, so let's implement the four functions. First was slide page, and then we got three more. Again, flip page, fade page, and finally curl page. All right, so um, to use these animations or to, to make a general uh, animation, we of course use our nav controller to like um, call set root with the second page. Okay, so this is just the normal behavior. Now, if you want to use these native transitions, you can call the native page transitions plugin, and there are different options. So, slide, flip, fade, and curl are the standard transitions and if you use the drawer you can uh, control the animation a bit better and cancel or execute your pending transition at different points but we will leave this out here um, and just use the basic ones so the first one was slide and we need some options here or we can use some options here so let's create an options object of the type native transition options and now we get the option <laughs> the option a um, to use different stuff like the direction from which to which side should this be animated so for the slide to the next page we just say left um, then you got something like the duration of the animation 400 is about pretty normal and there there are a lot uh, of things you can use like slow down factor um, I don't want to get too much into detail on these as I'm 
also still trying to figure out what's the best option. Um, let me bring in something. So this is the official um, page for the native page transitions. And here's everything documented very well. So um, go through this and just um, try around what's working for you. So um, there are really a lot of options you can use. Some uh, look good, some look not that good together. Um, so just give it a try with different options and mix the stuff. Um, one thing I noticed is that when we use the push command, which brings in the next page, it already uses some uh, Ionic push command on animation. And if you mix this with like a slight animation, you might get a duplicate animation here and there. So that's why I'm using set root in some places here. Um, but again, just give it a try and you will see what works for you. So let's make this one a bit different, um, an up transition, but of course it was a flip. Um, and then perhaps the fade just, um, just without any options because the fade looks almost all the time pretty good. And the curl animation, uh, sorry, um, curl and yeah, let's keep it like this. Um, but for fade or for, for flip, we might use push. So we have it at least in one place. All right. Um, let's finish this up by just implementing a little bit on the second page. So just give it a button so we can get back if we have used the set root. Um, click, we'll call go back. And finally, implement that function right here. Uh, again, we use private native page transitions uh, and perhaps also the options. So it goes right here and then on go back, um, we might want to check perhaps if um, we actually can go back. So we can use can go back from our navigation controller. Um, in that case, we have a previous page we can pop to. So we just need to call this .nav control pop. And otherwise we need to call nav controller set root again. Now with a home page to go back. Very standard navigation here. Um, let's add some more animations so uh, perhaps we make this also a slide but now down as we go back um, then you have like something like slide pixels so how many pixels um, yeah you will see it in the animation it's hard to describe here and if we call set root perhaps we just want to fade back maybe a bit slower than before that's it. Now, remember, uh, we cannot use this inside the browser anymore. Um, for my homepage. Uh, let's see. Uh, perhaps we should change the entry point as well. Um, because we're making use of Cordova plugins. So we need to build this app for a device and test the native transitions on a real device or simulator. So let me deploy it and then I will show you the animations. Okay, so here's our app with the four buttons we've implemented. So let's go through them. Slide just slides in the second page. Um, I think we used uh, yeah, set root and slide with a duration 400. So a tiny delay and this looks pretty native inside your apps. I think this is maybe one of the best animations. You can also see when I hit back, we already see the fade transition, which is just like this. So a very smooth transition to a next page can be pretty cool. Um, I kind of like it. And now flip and curl are a bit more crazy. So a flip uh, is this crazy animation. Um, Perhaps this was used more uh, some years ago 
I think I haven't seen it that much lately, but it's still a nice animation if it fits your app. And finally, curl. You know, it's like um, pulling or some uh, book or whatever. Um, maybe it has some places where it makes sense in most apps, in most normal apps. This is a bit over the top, perhaps. So um, a very nice light animation or a fade animation might look good in your app. And yeah, um, if you want your app to look more native um, than it is with the normal Ionic animations, go give the native page transitions a try, especially the slide, play around with the options. Um, you can get a really nice uh, material design effect if you have the right parameters set up here. Um, this works for Android and iOS, of course. And yeah, um, perhaps leave a comment what's your favorite transition and if you have found some good settings that really look like a perfect native animation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also check out the ionicacademy.com uh, where this quick win was hosted. Um, you can get more training, video courses and a great community to learn Ionic. I hope to see you in the next video, have a great day and take care.